Today, voters in Montana went to the polls to choose a replacement for the state's solitary House seat, which has been empty since Ryan Zinke was confirmed as Secretary of the Interior. What was already a quirky campaign, pitting folk singing Democrat Rob Quist we can never be truly free. against Republican Greg Jean Forte, took a turn for the sinister yesterday when this happened. Sick and tired, you guys. The last time you came in here, you did the same thing. Get the hell out of here. Guardian reporter Ben Jacobs confronted John Forte about the GOP health care bill. And John Forte attacked him with a now infamous body slam. Evan McMorris Santoro spoke to Jacobs via Skype from Montana. Now, viewers should know that we actually know each other and we kind of like each other. It's probably good to get that out of the way in the beginning. Gene Forte's campaign said that you entered this private office where he was conducting the interview. You were basically, you know, like acting like a jerk, essentially. They, they say aggressive. Uh, and you wouldn't stop when they asked you to. Is that it, fair? It, um, no, that's incorrect. I mean, their entire statement was riddled with falsehoods, that it wasn't a private office. It was an open, open space, um, that there wasn't, you know, a door that I pushed through or crawled through a window, um, and that it was just joining in and asking a question of, you know, at an event for a candidate for office, of the candidate for office. Um, this was a public event. This was something they advised that I was attending. And GF40's campaign has dismissed you as a liberal journalist. Now, Republicans run against the press basically all the time these days, but now one is specifically running against you. Uh, how does it, what does that mean to you? Um, it's not about me. This is about freedom of the press. This is about the First Amendment. This is about reporters being able to ask basic policy questions of candidates on important issues of the day and be able to expect, you know, to, you know, expect to not get violently assaulted in the course of doing that. Do you think that what we saw from Gianforte, his behavior, was in part anything that we can attribute to the way politics are now, maybe in part to the way that Trump ran his campaign? You know, that I've never, never faced physical assault interviewing Donald Trump, covering the Trump campaign, dealing with Trump campaign persons. There's certainly been some issues around, around that campaign, but everyone's responsible for their own actions. We asked Gianforte for an interview, but we got no response. The timing of this thing is really wild. Hours before the polls opened, Gianforte's altercation with Ben Jacobs changed the entire conversation about this election. Newspapers that had endorsed Gianforte canceled their endorsements. Democrats launched a digital ad specifically about the altercation and reminded voters that polls close at 8 p.m. A lot of people really want this moment to change this election. But people in Montana like to vote by mail. It's a pretty big state, and a significant number of votes have already been cast in this election. There are 699,498 registered voters in Montana. And by yesterday afternoon, before Body Slam Gate, more than 259,000 of them had already sent in their ballot. So more than a third of potential voters had already made up their minds, and they can't change them. We even called the Montana Secretary of State to see if people were trying to change their votes. They told us the only ones calling were reporters asking that dumb question. Before all this happened, the dynamics of this election favored a win by Gianforte. Democrats will tell you that the fact we're talking about Montana at all is a win for them. It's another special election that's close because voters are energized against Trump, they say. But close and winning are not the same thing. So assuming Gianforte wins, does he get to be a respectable member of the Republican caucus in Congress? Paul Ryan weighed in today. The choice will be made by the people of Montana. I do not think this is acceptable behavior, but the choice will be made by the people of Montana. And it's not like members of Congress haven't been aggressive before while in Congress. And let me be clear to you, you have to do that to me again. Oh, whoa. Who are you? So Gianforte could fit right in. 